In this underground jail, a man named Cole is shown. He was brought to numerous scientists. The scientist informed Cole that we have invented a method. By this method, we can send a person back to the past by time travel. And we have chosen you for this task. If you do this task this your punishment will be forgiven. It will be a great step to save humanity, we want you to go back to 1996. At that time, when the virus had started spreading in the world. By going there, you have to find the real virus that was spread prior. So that we can find the treatment for the virus at the present time, and Cole agrees with their condition. After this, he was sent back to the past by time travel, but it wasn't 1996 but 1990 where he was arrested as a result of the fight with police. Here a doctor named Dr. Catherine comes to meet him. Cole was considered insane because of his weird words and behaviors. He was called in front of the doctors for that reason, and Catherine was one of them, where Cole informed them that a virus was spread in 1996. Since then, till 1997, 500 core people have died, and only 1% of them have survived. They are some people who have come from the era I've come, from 2035. Everybody lives underground in the world, but nobody believed in Cole's statement. Cole was asked, have you come to save the world? He said, no, the world has already ended. I just come to know about the virus that killed millions of people, so that we can invent the treatment of that virus in our own time. And again, we can live openly after coming out from underground. We can breathe peacefully. Later, Cole said he wants to call his scientist team, because they have a machine that can help me to send my message by dialing a number. Cole was allowed, but when he calls, a woman picks up the call. The machine was set by scientists in 1996, but Cole lives in 1990. That's why he could not call them. That's why Cole has assumed a mental person. And when he goes to mental asylum where he meets another insane man named Jeffrey. Jeffrey was the son of a quite rich person. When Cole was brought to his room, he suddenly disappears and comes back to his own time 2035. He hears a recording of a girl saying that the army of 12 monkeys has completed its task. Later, the scientist asks Cole did you send this message? Because he is from 1996. He tells them that you have sent me to 1990 instead of sending in 1996. Cole is inquired by showing some pictures by saying have you met them? Here he saw the picture of insane Jeffrey who met him in mental asylum. Then he tells them, maybe I met him before. Now Cole is given one other chance and he was again put into a time travel machine. Now, he was again sent back to the time of World War I mistakenly where bullets were going everywhere, and Cole doesn't understand anything and he was shot by a gun there. Before that, he dies, the machine works, and he comes to 1996 where he has to come. Here is Dr. Catherine whom he met in 1990 was delivering the lecture. Now she has become very popular after publishing a book. Everybody takes autographs on her book. A senior doctor informs her that because of people, the earth is incapable of living. All the means of life are ending as a result of overpopulation. While going home, Cole who was already present kidnaps her. He asks her to go with him in a city because the virus has begun there. Catherine recognizes that he is the same person who disappeared from mental asylum six years ago. Cole tries to understand her that I'm not insane but traveling time. But she doesn't believe her and they reach North Quay City. Cole sees the marks and poster of 12 Monkey Army. He understands the 12 Monkeys team has activated and is about to complete its mission. The virus will start to spread after one month. Cole sees the face of an animal outside a shop that was the sign of the 12 Monkey Army. He rushes off to that shop where three people were present. He says I know you're the people of the 12 Monkeys, now tell me your leader's name. They deny telling initially but when Cole points the gun at the girl, they finally tell the name of their leader, Jeffrey. Jeffrey is quite famous because his father is a virus expert, he works on the virus. Jeffrey is against his father, he opposes him. Cole now departs towards Jeffrey's house with the bullet from the war still stuck in his leg. 
Catherine says I'm a doctor and I want to treat your injured leg, and she removes his leg bullet and bandages his leg and he leaves for Jeffrey's house. They inform him that your old friend has come to meet you. When he sees him, he rejects to recognize Cole. Cole tells him that I've come here for twelve monkeys. After hearing this he takes him into his room. Cole tells Jeffrey that he is not interested in whatever you're gonna do. I only want to know about the virus and Jeffrey tells him that I don't know about any virus. You want to spread the virus because you told me in 1990. How will you feel if the world will destroy due to the virus? Cole rags and tells him to shut up and attacks him. Meanwhile, Jeffrey's companions arrive there and Cole has to run. Jeffrey's companions attack him and chase him but he manages to flee. He opens the dicky of his car in which he has kept Catherine locked. She attacks him after kicking him with her leg and tells him, You stupid idiot, how dare you to lock me in the dicky? When she sees Cole injured, she inquires have you beat anyone, have you fought? He tells her soon the world will be dead and the survivors will reside underground. I can't go from this time because I have to live in the open air. I like fresh air, sun, water, and freedom. In the meantime, they hear police sirens, and Catherine honks her horn to call the police away. When Catherine turns to look at the area where Cole was present, he has left. He has disappeared in a manner similar to how the mental hospital misplaced him. He has returned to his time in 2035. The lab staff informs Catherine in 1996 that the bullet you removed from his leg. It is not from the present time but from wartime. By listening to this Catherine becomes shocked. She saw Cole when she sees war pictures. She understands that Cole isn't insane. Everything he has said regarding time travel up until this point is true. The world is also coming to an end. For this reason, she calls Jeffrey's father and informs him. Your son will steal the virus from your lab. For this reason, the world will be ended. Actually, Catherine and Cole are sure that 12 Monkey Leader will surely spread the virus in the world. His father tells them, Jeffrey can't go to the place where the virus is kept. Cole, who was in the year 2035, was brought back in time to 1996 in order to research the virus. He meets Catherine and tells her that I want to surrender to the police. He was saying this because his mind had been affected as a result of frequent time travel. Catherine assures her, I know you're not crazy, and everything you said was true. She takes him along, and she asks about the number in which he can talk to the scientist in 2035. He tells her that I don't want to go because I don't want to live underground. I want to spend a beautiful life under the open sky in the fresh air. He immediately recalls the phone number he had previously used to contact a scientist in 1990. He gives Catherine this number, and she responds. And she come back after some time, she was quite happy. She tells Cole, this was a company number, and I've told them that 12 Monkey Army has finished its task. Cole says you might have responded, Merry Christmas, and she becomes shocked to hear this. Because she actually stated this. The scientist got this message in 2035. He has also listened to me, so they are both confident that the virus will soon spread into this world and 500 crore people will die. Despite their best efforts, they cannot stop that virus as it has spread now. They just have to search for it, and as Cole has decided to live. So, he has removed that chip by the scientists of 2035 could call him. This chip was under his teeth. He has never seen the sea, so Catherine offers to take him to see the sea. They changed their appearance, and the police were chasing Cole. When Cole sees her in a different appearance, he tells her, You always come in my dream. I only witnessed one dream, in which I could only see you. Catherine also tells him that it seems like she already knows Cole. The next morning, they leave for the place where Catherine has to show him the sea. On the way, the driver informs them that the army of twelve monkeys can meet them. They have freed all the animals from the zoo and in Jeffrey's father's lab. Catherine and Cole understand that purpose of the Twelve Monkey Army was different. They actually want to free animals not to spread the virus. They reach the airport where Catherine buys the ticket. 
and tells them to forget the Twelve Monkey Army because they've done nothing. They've not spread the virus and yes. After the call, Cole's friend comes from 2035. After giving a gun to Cole, he him to complete the mission. Otherwise, we have to kill Catherine, we have to do it. Catherine collapses with a man who was a senior doctor. He came to take an autograph from Catherine after her lecture. He stated that humans have made this earth incapable to live and Catherine learns. He works with the senior doctor Jeffrey's father who is a virus expert. He might have that virus that is going to spread into the world. She tells this all to Cole and both of them leave to find the senior doctor. He sees the doctor but he has reached far ahead. Catherine and Cole haven't allowed to go ahead because of the security. She shouts and says to stop him because he has a dangerous virus. But nobody hears him and Cole runs after the doctor by taking the gun. But the police arrives there that were already searching for Cole and they shoot him. Catherine approaches him where Cole was breathing his last. It was the time that Cole has seen many times in his dream. Catherine understands that Cole is around here in 1996. A boy was noticing this all by staying aside, and this was Cole's childhood appearance. There were two appearances of Cole, one was in 1996 when he was a child. The second was the appearance of 2035 when he has come there by time traveling. Catherine recognizes Cole's childhood appearance. On the plane, we see the same senior doctor. He was about to travel to several places in order to spread the virus within a week. But a woman sat next to his seat. She has come in 2035 from 1996. She knows that the senior doctor is the man who is going to spread the virus. She collects all the information about the virus and tells the people of her time about it. You might be wondering why the virus has not yet been wiped off. If the senior doctor who developed this virus is arrested or murdered, or if the virus is wiped off, the whole timeline will be disturbed. If the virus will not be present, the population of the world will not be reduced, nor the people of time travel in the 2035.